I'm going to be creating a storage compartment and there's going to be a bench with a trap door. Now this John boat is only 12 feet long. It's not a large boat. The safe capacity is about 420 pounds. I don't want to add a lot of weight to this boat. However, I do want to mod it. By the time I add my motor, which is only a six horsepower motor, I'm already adding 60 pounds to the back of this boat. And I want to create some storage in the front so that I can counteract the weight that this motor is going to add. There's actually a lot of angles on this boat. You're going to have a million different measurements and I'm going to use cardboard to create a template. And this template is going to be moved onto some plywood where I can then use the jigsaw and cut everything out so I can place it with the perfect snug fit. So here's a template, it's just going to fit right in, nice and snug on one side. And since I'm going to be mirroring my template, I had to find the middle. So I just did a couple of numbers to make sure that I'm getting a straight line all the way from the top down to the bottom. And I'll be cutting out a square on the ground as well here. Finally using these secondhand C clamps that I cleaned up with vinegar. If you want to know how, check the description box. Along the bottom of the boat there's a bunch of ridges and it's kind of uncomfortable to stand on. I'm just making a floorboard, a plank, and I'm going to cover it in the, the marine carpet, the boat carpet. Uh, you have the rubber on the back so it's waterproof and I'm just going to use a staple gun. I left about an inch and a half on each side and when I wrap it over you're going to lose a little bit of, of, uh, of material and I want to have at least an inch or an inch and a half on the other side of the, the floorboard. I really want to pull it tight because it has a, a little bit of stretch to it. So it's the next morning and I'm going to be adding this template onto the plywood. end of my day. I ended up beveling underneath all of the edges. Because the boat is on an angle, I wanted the plywood to fit real snug and so of course the edges had to be on an angle. And the next step I have to do is cut in my trap door and I can't mess it up because I get one shot. So from this end to this end of the bench that's underneath this wood, it's about 16 inches. So I want the trap door to start about an inch out. I need to be able to fold it. Bam, like that. Now it's the question of how wide. This is what I was thinking. The seat will be there. This line is where the hatch will start. When the trap door is open, I'll be able to put my feet inside. 24 by 18. Under here, the dotted line is going to be where the hatch is going to sit on top of. So the door is actually going to go here. This piece of wood will go underneath it. It's not going to hit the edge, but it is going to cover the majority of the bow, which I'm okay with. That way you have a lot of space to get to your storage. Right, let's see. Boom. And I do need a little bit of a gap so that when the carpets are together, they are, they're nice and snug, but not too snug. I'll sand it down nice and straight and cover it with the carpet. So I want the vertical lines 
to be the same for the hatch that I do the bow piece. So I'm just measuring that out, making sure that it will be the same direction. Corners. Be about there. So those will close nicely. Then I cut off some of the excess. And I just pull the little leftover. So if anybody knows how to actually upholster carpet around edges, please let me know. Because of the carpet overlay, I didn't expect the door to fit. I'm going to extend the door by about a quarter of an inch. I had to adjust the trap door a few times just to get it fit with this carpet. This is a chest handle, and these will be for the door. And I decided to use some contact glue. So the plywood itself is half an inch, and the carpet adds an extra quarter inch. So I have to use these three quarter inch screws. We'll do the door first. And there's probably a proper way to do this, and those who have been doing this for a long time probably figure that out. However, I haven't done this before. update i was using this bracket this isn't gonna work i can't attach the seat so i made one so this will just pop on i'm gonna have two of them put my plank on top we'll put the swivel and then the chair then you can control the motor and turn the seat yesterday i added the chair onto the other bench it's late at night and i have one more nut to put on right there and that was a little bit of a learning curve just because you're drilling from the bottom and then from the top and you only have about three quarters of an inch oh, this is very difficult sorry it's blurry but there's going to be a chair and the one thing i was concerned about was having one of the screws and then the nut from the other screw hitting each other because then it, it won't swivel okay. okay i changed my mind i was going to be using the plywood under here but they're not that strong for standing on. I have some leftover wood from my deck. They have a really nice clean edge on the side. They are double the thickness. So we have half an inch and then we have a whole inch here. So I'm gonna use that instead. I believe there's gonna be a lot more support. So I have to flip this whole board over. I'll be drilling the pilot holes. I'll take the measurements first before I attach this to the seat. Then I will attach the seat onto the board. All right, I've added this board and when you sit down, the plywood doesn't bend. It also provides a little bit more support for the door so you can stand on it. This will do. Oh, the fish are jumping. <laughs> 